Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm going to do a quick uh, DIY video on how to add a coolant filter to your vehicle. Uh, I would recommend doing this if you have uh, reoccurring sludge or rust issues in your cooling system and or if you want to just regularly monitor um, how clean your coolant is and uh, when you should change it. Um, so basically this is a video on how to add a coolant filter on a budget by using an inline fuel filter. And very important, um, you're going to want to use a glass or metal fuel filter. I did a lot of research online. If you use a plastic inline fuel filter, which are used on carburetor uh, vehicles, um, that's gonna bulge and it can easily um, just pop off or explode so these are much more sturdy uh, these are used on carburetor cars um, but they are made of a much more sturdy material uh, carburetor systems typically go up to 8 psi uh, a regular vehicle uh, coolant system, whether it's carburetor or fuel injected, it will go up to 15 psi. Um, but these can definitely handle uh, 15 psi, and uh, I have firsthand experience, you know, witnessing that, and also from all the stories I've read online. So basically, um, what I did is I extended this hose, which is going to my throttle. I secured it right here on top of the radiator, so it's like very nice, easy access. Um, I could easily just unscrew the filter and uh, pop in these uh, replacement filters. So basically, I got this filter for $9.00 in comparison to buying a legit coolant filter which would cost 50 to a hundred dollars and would require um, a lot more effort and uh, modification to install and uh, more difficult access because most coolant filters that you buy they're gonna hook up to a heater hose so it's gonna most likely be a very tight difficult area to regularly access because it's right there by the firewall so uh, yeah that's why I did this um, I just uh, took out the filter after driving only 25 miles just to show you guys this is how it looks after just 25 miles it's not clogged but it is pretty dirty in comparison to the new one um, and I just put in a new one so I can show you guys uh, how it'll look when I start the vehicle. And usually these fuel filters, they have an inlet side, so you want to make sure to hook it up to the right hose. If you don't, then you're not going to get any flow because these inline filters, they're almost all... Uh, you need directional they're not bi-directional so that's an important thing to note because most people might be thinking oh I'll just hook it up to the expansion tank hose but that would be a bad idea because this is the only hose in your cooling system that has bi-directional flow so when you're low on coolant it will suck coolant from the reservoir into the radiator and uh, when you shut off the car excess pressure will go the opposite way so if you're lucky like me you're gonna have um, a 5 16th hose or a 3 8 inch hose that you can extend and uh, hook it up to your coolant filter so basically um, 
I'll start my car right now and uh, show you how it looks.